In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of hip muscles. Especially, I am going to explain deep lateral rotators of hip joint. We have six muscles today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start with this beige color tape muscle. This beige color tape represents piriformis. Piriformis actually originates from sacrum. If you look up anatomy book, it looks like piriformis originates from lateral side of sacrum, but it's not. Actually, it originates from in front of sacrum. This is very important fact. Why? What is in front of sacrum? We have rectum, maybe uterus maybe brother so we have pelvic organs in front of sacrum so if piriformis gets tight it can affect internal organ this is very important and one more interesting fact most of hip joint muscles originate from pelvis you know ilium and ischium and maybe pubis here but piriformis originates from sacrum. There are only two muscles originate from axial spine. One is piriformis and what is the other one? The other one is psoas major muscle, psoas muscle. So if piriformis or psoas gets tight, it can also affect on the axial spine, not only the hip joint. Right? So this is piriformis. Let's move on to the next one. This red one is gemellus superior. Gemellus superior. So if we have superior, we have inferior, right? So we should have gemellus inferior. Now which one is that? This red one is gemellus superior. Now which one? Blue, yellow, or green, or black? Gemellus inferior is this yellow one. Red one, gemellus superior. Yellow one is gemellus inferior. Superior, inferior. Good. So what is this blue one? This blue one is so important. This muscle is obturator internus. Obturator internus originates from inside of pelvis. You see that? And this beige tape represent obturator membrane. So obturator internus originates from obturator membrane. And there is the muscles here, bottom of pelvis. What are they? They are pelvic floor. An interesting thing is this obturator internus shares attachment with pelvic floor. Pelvic floor is very important for urogenital function and reproductive system. Especially pelvic floor function is very important for female urogenital function. So if this blue one, obturator internus gets tight, it can affect for pelvic floor and urogenital function, right? Because obturator internus and pelvic floor shares attachment of muscles. Very important. Obturator internus. And this green one represent obturator externus, but I will explain later because obturator externus originates from front side of pelvis. And what is this black one? This one is quadratus femoris, the most inferior muscle of lateral rotators, quadratus femoris. Now I am looking at pelvis from front side. So this green one, this green one represents obturator externus. And this beige tape also represents obturator membrane. In reality, obturator externus and obturator internus cover the whole obturator membrane. But for this video, I want to be very simple, so it looks like obturator externus and obturator internus is very small muscle, but they are not. They are actually broad muscle. Anyway, 
of trader externals originates from front part of of trader membrane. Remember, what's the other side of this of trader membrane? There is of trader internals, which has very strong relationship with peripheral, right? So if of trader externals gets tight, it can tighten the of trader membrane. Then it can go to inside of obturator membrane, then it can affect pelvic floor, then urogenital function, right? That is why obturator externus, obturator membrane, and obturator internus are very important. And one more thing I want to show. Where is attachment of piriformis? It's in front of sacrum, right? It's like this. So there is an autonomic nervous system here, or rectum, uterus, and bladder here. So if piriformis gets tight, it can affect the front part of sacrum or whole part of sacrum or pelvis. That is why piriformis has very close relationship with pelvic organ and autonomic nervous system. So today I explain the anatomy of deep lateral rotator of hip joint. There are six muscles I explained today. Piriformis, generis superior, obturator internus. This is very important muscle. The yellow one is generis inferior. The green one is obturator externus. And black one is quadratus femoris. Anatomy of deep rotator is very important for sports, posture, and so many things. So I hope this video helps you studying. So this is today's video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in next video.